In this video, we will show you how to embed a YouTube video in a VoiceFlow chatbot. First, let us put a text block on the VoiceFlow canvas. In the text, we ask a question, do you want to see my video? Then, we put a buttons block to add buttons for the user to click on. The first button is a yes button, and we add another button if the user chooses the other option. Next, we place a text block and connect it to the path with the yes button. In this demo, I will use one of my videos as an example to embed on this bot. Let us go to my YouTube channel and click on this video. We are going to get the embed code, which is provided by the YouTube video. Right click on this video, then select and click on this button to copy the embed code. This is actually an iframe code which can be directly used in the text block. Let us go back to our voice flow canvas and paste the code on the text block. As you can see, it is an iframe with the URL of the video and other parameters such as width, height, and title. If we do a test run, let us see what will happen. It is loading the first text block and the buttons. We click the yes button. It has run through the last text block, which contains the video iframe code, but nothing has happened. We do not see the video. Before we move to the next step, let me change the name of this text block to iframe, so we know what this block does. Next, we place a JavaScript block and change its name to URL, because we will save the URL of the video in a variable. Let us click on the text block and make a copy of the URL. In the JavaScript block, I have created a variable and we can paste the URL, which is now stored in the variable. Let us connect the blocks and rearrange them so the URL block is connected to the yes path of the first text block and passes the variable to the iframe block. In the iframe block, we are going to delete the URL and replace it with the variable. When the bot executes, the variable will display the real value, in this case, the URL. Now let us run the test to see if we will have the video shown up. We click the yes button to see the video, but nothing shows up. If you encountered the same problem, that is because the iframe in voice flow is designed to work in the production instead of development status of the chat bot. Now let us click the publish button on the top right corner and click the publish on the pop-up window. After this, the bot will be in the production status instead of development status. Let us click the embed widget button to see the code. You can paste the whole code snippet onto your web page. But here, I am going to copy a partial and test it on a web page. The highlighted code is what we need for this demo. Let us make a copy. Next, this code will be pasted and tested on a web page. We are now on a web page and right click the mouse. Let us select inspect. In the inspection window, we click the console tab, which brings us the console window. We paste the code snippet here and press the enter key on the computer. After executing the code, we can see the chatbot bubble appears at the bottom right corner of the web page. Let us click on it and a chat window pops up. Let us click on the yes button. Will the video show up this time? Let us wait. Yes, we see the video. It is the video we have expected, but the size is too big and we cannot see the whole video window. It looks everything works except the size. We will fix the size issue and make the video look better. Now let us get back to voice flow and get back to the canvas with our blocks. Now let us click on the iframe block to see the details. In the code, we can see the parameter of width, which has value 853 pixels. This is much bigger than the width of the chat window. We change it to auto, which means the video width will automatically fit the chat window. Next we click the button to publish the bot and click the publish. After this, we do not need to copy the code because we already have it on the web page. Let us move to the web page and click to start new chat. Next let us click the yes button. The video starts loading. Let us see if there is any difference. It looks much better now. We can see the whole video screen, but the height is still too big. Let us fix it. Back to the voice flow canvas, we can see the height of the iframe is 480 pixels. We can change it to a small value but it could change the width to height ratio of the original one. Here I use auto, which can automatically calculate the height and also keep the same ratio. Now click on the publish button and click the publish. Again, we do not need to copy the code snippet. So we skip this step. We directly go to the web page and start a new chat and then click the yes button. Now it is loading the video. Finally, we can see the video successfully loaded. The whole screen fits the chat window. Let us test playing the video. Here we go. It is playing and working. We now let the video play for a couple of seconds and make sure it works as expected. Now let us test playing the whole screen. We also test the close caption and change the play speed. 
it looks everything works as expected. In summary, we can embed a YouTube video on the Vice Flow chat bot. We copy the iframe code of the video and paste it on a text block. Remember to set a variable to store the URL of the video and replace the URL with the variable in the iframe code. We also may change the width and height of the iframe. Finally, we need to publish the bot in order for the YouTube video iframe to embed on the chat bot because it is not designed to work in the voice flow development canvas. If you like this video, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. If you have any comments and suggestions, please let us know. Thank you for your support.